Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I know dental school, medical school, any type of graduate program at that is super expensive and a lot of you guys are wondering how you're going to be paying off all your debt. So I'm actually going to go ahead and give you a quick tip in regards to saving some money uh, and kind of managing your finances a little bit better so you don't have to take out extra loans or anything like that to uh, close the gap between uh, living and what you have to pay. So this tip is essentially opening up a second bank account. And what I mean by that is it allows you to manage your finances better. So I'll take my situation for example back in September I got eight thousand dollars in loans that's supposed to last me for September October November and December right and so now you got to look at how much you're paying for rent so in my situation uh, I pay seven hundred fifty dollars a month for rent right and a super big thing is don't be trying to live like a baller in a graduate program you know live at a place that is within your means and that you can survive and and not pay something that's just an exorbitant amount of money so for me it's seven hundred fifty dollars for rent and then another uh, I just set aside a thousand dollars for rent and utilities and all and all that stuff that basically goes into my apartment so that's a thousand dollars a month so for September October November December and for January I pull out five thousand dollars right so that gives me three thousand uh, dollars that's just left to survive for for those months until my next next loan disbursement comes in so that five thousand dollars I put into a separate account I act like that's not spending money, that's not anything like that. And the reason why is because if you get a lump sum of $8,000 and you just leave it in, in, your, in one account and you use that account to store uh, the money that you're going to be paying rent, that you're going to be buying things, going out to eat, or whatever it is that you need to, to be doing, uh, it's going to play like a psychological game on you where you believe you actually do have $8,000. So for me, I pull all that out and immediately as soon as I get it, and now it's like I actually have $3,000. So it's a little bit easier to budget at this point now. And on top of that, I set aside about $150 a month for emergency purposes, right? So that $3,000 and that extra $150 a month ends up being about $600 left to live a month. And that's more than enough for anything that you need to be doing. And if you guys live out of state or anything like that, and you have to fly home for the, the holidays, Pull that money aside as well. Buy your ticket as early as you can, but pull that money out and put it into that separate account, which is used for essentially fixed costs. Something you know you're gonna have to pay every single month, set that aside. And now your spending money is right there, that $3,000 for me minus 150 every month, and it's gonna be a lot easier to budget. So keep that in mind, guys. It's gonna go a long way, and you guys are gonna realize that uh, it'll be easier to budget, and you're not gonna be uh, just blowing money and having to ask for, for extra loans. So keep that in mind. Dental school, medical school, they're all very expensive, but if you budget and you manage your money and you do something like this, you're gonna be saving money at the end of the day.